hello hello i'm excited you don't care because you don't even know it's been like a million years since i soaked last well possibly not a million years possibly God, a month since i saw what is that look at me i'm already making a mess and i haven't even started yet it's been a month since i've made soap a whole month people do you know how hard that is i'm stressed <laughs> nah, i shouldn't complain it's been a hell of a month but um yeah it's time for some relaxation and some soap making so all right i'm going to make coriander and orange zest and i've just realized i'm so not ready for this because it's been a month and i forgot what i'm doing i have got no colors or anything <laughs> nothing absolutely nothing out so yeah it's a paper towel i've got my lie i've got some kaolin clay in so how did christmas go for everybody it is um what's today it's the third of january today and it is my second day off since about the middle of november so yes i'm putting a lot of kale and clay in that and I? i'm putting four tablespoons four heap tablespoons and i don't care because i'm loving the clay at the moment but yes it's been very busy here and it's been worth it but wow seriously wow <laughs> just more and more and more and you know ended up having a pop-up shop and everything and it was like you can't see me I'm sitting here shaking my head because it, <laughs> it was just so much but um yeah alrighty I have to strain that now I learnt something today <laughs> well, I learnt something today well not today might have been yesterday um oh a lot of my previous videos you've seen me straining my lye because it's got silk in it so it turns out that this is actually bamboo silk because bamboo silk goes like this for other people not just me so i thought maybe i was just an idiot turns out i probably still am an idiot but but yeah they've had the same thing happen to them so but it doesn't work with it doesn't happen with tussa silk so i've just batched uh oh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen lies and i've put tussa silk in two of them just to test the theory and it doesn't look like it's done this so this it could just be that this is what bamboo silk does and i'm, I'm inclined to believe what everyone has said so word to the wise if you want to put silk in one to one ratio of water and lye do not use bamboo silk because it's shit <laughs> well it's not it's not Ooh, slippery mat <sighs> just don't mind me i'm having a surf here yes bamboo silk's very nice but it's just not it's just not what you need to use in a one to one of lye so but i'll check out the tussa silk one probably in a very few videos because i'm going to make like so much soap in the next couple of days that i will definitely be using that um so it'll be interesting to see what happens all right let's give this a bit of a whiz and see what happens <laughs> It's got a lot of clay in it, so it's probably going to go stupid colours. But it's what coriander and orange, so it's quite really green and orange. Oh, it's always the green and the orange. Do we ever make anything else? It's so sad, really. <laughs> Seriously, it's so friggin' sad. <sighs> One day I might make something else. Actually, the lovely Miss Pauline made a purple and green soap 
the other day and oh my god it was so nice um let's just oh god so good let's just throw this in eh yeah bugger it living on the edge again i'm living on the edge again have i told you why i do that why i measured out and leave a little bit on the bottom i think i have that little bit that i've left you probably wouldn't be able to see there's just a, it's probably to there left it's um that's enough to scent like a moisturizer or a bit of conditioner or something other than soap so i like to keep that little bit aside especially if it's something that i really like it's also good for there's the right amount for a beard balm so there you go all right what am i doing here i'm just pouring soap and with not even the slightest idea what i'm doing <laughs> seriously this is what happens when i come back unprepared i was like no i want to make soap i want to make soap oh, i probably should not organize anything and just make soap whatever I, actually i don't even think i've got white made up no i do not well, that's going to make life a little difficult. Oh, hang on. Now, I have some white made up. Something in this is drop swirl. Boring old drop swirl. Haven't done a drop swirl in a while because I haven't done anything. So, did you all get what you wanted for Christmas? I got fat. <laughs> I should have got a really good present. I got a... Um, Ooh, that's thickening enough. Oh! Shot that across the room. I got a um, $150 gift voucher for the movie theatre that I go to. So I was a bit happy about that because there's a whole bunch of movies I want to see this year. So that was from my middle son and my youngest son bought me a battery operated candle. Silence. <laughs> it's just the weirdest thing ever, seriously. Oh, he's a funny kid. He thought I'd like it. So, you know, that's, I've always told the kids it's the thought the kids. <laughs> he's a funny kid, that one. He's so weird, he's so like his mother. <sighs> We're just talking about him today. That he has so much potential because he's a smart kid, but he's just, oh, he's just wasting it. Drugs. <laughs> Terrible friggin' things. Just. Uh, I said to him the other day that, you know, so I told him I can't help him unless he's willing to help himself. And, you know, he said, he said I know that, but. He just doesn't know how to help himself, so. <sighs> what can you do, bud, eh? I mean, I think I've told you guys before, he's like me, he has bipolar. So, you know, a lot of bipolar... Apparently, I can't talk. A lot of bipolar people um, self-medicate when they're younger. I did it too, I, I must admit. I never... I would never say that I was an addict, but I smoked a bit of pot, um, you know. So and and I and I knew that I was smoking in a way like I never smoked when I was down because it always made me feel worse. But I would smoke when I was up because it brought me back down again, and I would stop behaving as rationally as what I as what I was. So. So yeah, so it, I was definitely self-medicating without even knowing what I was doing. I just knew how to make myself behave more normal. Well, as normal as I get anyway. <laughs> and um, that's an odd colour green, isn't it? I quite like it, but it's just, it's a lot darker than I expect. Oh, it's probably because of the kale and clay, hey. So yeah, so I mean, I understand that, you know, Kurt's probably doing a, a bit of that because he's bipolar as well but he 
he's to the point where he lies and steals for it, which is not good. So, and you know, it's, it's hard to help someone who's at that point in their life, so. But, uh, who knows, he's asked if he can come and stay here for a couple of days. I told him he could, so that was yesterday. I haven't heard back. And I went and bought a heap of food because you know that's you know I can that's one thing I can do is I can feed the child he needs a good feed <laughs> but anyway yeah who knows we'll see what happens uh, I'm cooking a roast at the moment let's so we've got the dryer on I suppose you can probably hear that noisy friggin dryer oh I have no gloves on <laughs> you know why I've just realized because I have to do that yeah, got the dryer on, got the oven on. I've just mixed up 12 friggin' 18, 16, I don't know, 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 lies. So that's boiling hot over there as well. <laughs> it was already like friggin' 28 in the house and then I've turned the oven on, turned the dryer on and mixed up lie. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. Although I think we'd already established that fact, hadn't we? Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, I should have kept a bit of the white for the top. Dickhead. Oh well, never mind. Just put a bit in here. It's very warm. So yeah, so I've changed my recipe up a bit since I made Oh, I'll probably post it before this, but I made some clay soap. I made two lots of clay soap. And I loved it so much that I wanted to incorporate more clay into my recipes, even though I'm not overly fussed on the colour of it. Um, but, but that may go white. It's fairly white now. Um, yeah, I just love how it feels and, and I thought, well, if I can incorporate a bit more of it. So I've changed the recipe up now. I've got some, um, I've added castor oil just for the bubble factor. And um, yeah, now I've put some shea in there as well. And what else have I got? Um, cut, I've got no sunflower oil anymore and I've cut back the RBO back to... I think it's about 10%. So, and yeah, I'm now using 30% tallow because I've decided I'm in love with it. And it's goat's milk soap, so it doesn't have to be vegan. And no one ever asks what's in it anyway. So, if they ask and freak out, then I've got vegan soap. I've got coconut milk soap that has no, no animal fats in it. So, you know, we're keeping everybody happy. All right, so, kids, that's a really ugly top. So, how about we give it a swirl? What do you reckon? Let's give it a swirl with the end of the spoon. Well, I tell you what, that roast smells all right. You're gonna get a bit of pork on my fork, I am. That could be rude, but I shall not. It's my first video back in the new year. I shall behave myself. Just for this one video. <laughs> all righty, let's go, let's go, woohoo! Who knows what that's going to look like, but the top looks pretty awesome. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to put that in there. Because I think that looks pretty cool. So I might give it a bit of a, a bit more of a little whirly woody, except... <laughs> oh no, look, there's two. I use chopsticks all the time for mixing candles. <laughs> And apparently I've stolen all my soap ones. Yeah, have a look at this. Over with the candle stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Slow ones, you four, six, six, like nine there. <laughs> oh, dude, candles have taken over my life. 
it's funny, you know, it's like stunning how much they sell. Alright, so how am I going to do this? Um, if I go like this, just sort of enhance what's already there. There we go, that looks alright, eh? Oh god, I'm not sure. I think my balls need to drop the way I was talking like that. It's not the most beautiful soap, but it's still not bad. Yeah, see, I saw a chick do this with a paddle pop stick, and I'm thinking she's got the right idea because this thing's not very good. I've been watching a lot of soap videos because I haven't been able to soap. <laughs> I'm missing it. <laughs> if that's not a true sign of an addiction, I don't know what is. But there you go. What do you reckon? Looks alright? Like I said, it's different. Should I put some glitter on it or just leave it like? I think I'll just leave it like that, eh? Alright. I'll see you for the cutting. Bye! Hello. Alrighty. First up, we have whatever this is. <laughs> Yeah, this gets posted on the end of your video, so you'll know what it is. I'm in too much pain, so I don't even, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just cutting soap. <laughs> um, last night when I made uh, lemon and lavender, I told you all that I'd broken my toe. Yes, well, it's still broken. So, oh, whoosh. So yeah, in massive amounts of pain at the moment. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good swirl, huh? It's different. So, excellent, eh? Yeah, this is, I don't know, what do I, what, I really don't even know what this is. It's, um, oh, coriander and orange zest. There you go. I only know because of the colours. <laughs> oh, dearie me. And there you go. So it's discolored a bit because it was white. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, it still smells quite nice. It's very, it's very fresh. Um, it's a little, it's a little perfumey. Oop, no, clean that first. Full. Um, but um, not, not like bad. It's just. It's got that sort of florally perfume note to it rather than just being full on zesty. So, oh, like that piece. That's nice. Alrighty, so that's it. That's whatever I just said coriander and orange zest. See you for the next one. Bye.